Game saved. What does this thing say? No. I already told you, Mr. Mr. Scarecrow. What's this? There is a creepy doll tied to the pillar. I'm trying to see what it's actually made of, but I can't. It appears to be made of an actual leg. <gasps> mm. Very jumpy. Excuse me. Very jumpy. It's in my nature. Very jumpy. Of course, now that they've built all this tension and nothing has happened, I'm expecting something horrible to happen. It's a faded group photo taken in front of the mansion. I see some boys. I see some girls. I see two adults, I think. Hmm. Okay. As one would have guessed, it was inhabited by adults at some time, at some point. Alright. Let's get out of here. I think that I'm missing the main place that I'm supposed to be going to immediately, directly, upon entering the mansion. <laughs> Stop running away from me! Am I supposed to follow him? Alright, I'll follow him. I will play. I will play. No, I won't. I'm gonna go downstairs. What's this? It's an easel! No, it's a ladder. An old ladder is leaning up against the wall. Okay, I'll remember that for the future. What's this? Clock without hands. Great! Well, we have gone full circle. Yes, we've gone full circle. Alright. I will... I will attempt to follow the, the little kid who keeps running away from us. This isn't a game! Wait. It is a game. <laughs> oh, balls! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Sorry. What? Uh, yeah, go that way. Come on. Something happened. Scare me! I dare you. Oh, there's the child! Jesus, he's just standing there. He's just standing there. <laughs> Hi! No! Come back. Unlike three times your age, I should be able to keep up with you. <laughs> this is a bad idea. I'm like stepping into their lair. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, little boy! I'll chase you, little boy! Which way did he go? Oh, crap. What's this? Stop laughing! Attic. Well, 50 50 chance. Chair! It's gonna be of no use to me here. What's this? What's this? What is all this? Say something! Saw! So <gasps> Scalpel. Dental. Forceps. Gloves. Scissors. There's blood all over them. And two severed arms, might I add. I think the description is overlooking one very important part of this array. The two severed arms. Ah! Da, 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 da. On the left side of my screen. <laughs> Shit. Pick up the board. Use it as defense. It's a chest. Open the chest. Find a sledgehammer. All right. Take the, take the note. No. Take the note. Note. No. Note. I can't take the note, guys. I want to take the note. <sighs> Fine. You suck, note! Uh, what do we have? Oh! Hey! I can go up that! 
Do it again. Do it again, Jennifer. Jennifer, do it again. Do it again. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. I... Aww. Oh well. Um... Is this it? What's it say? I can't read it. It's too dark. What is that? There's like some kind of shelving in the door. We saw this in the opening. Is that a boy? Apparently I was very wrong about this being like an all-girls orphanage or something. I, I can't... Why can I not turn my camera to the thing that's most important in this room? Oh, there it is. Search for everywhere. Potential weapons before I confront... Screw it. Hi. Hello, your highness. I am... Oh, shit. I just... Tabbed past that. My, aren't you a slow poke? Like always. Okay, this is the boy from the, from the bus. Here, read me the rest of the story. You know, the book I handed you. <laughs> really? Crap. And the poor little girl was sent away to a strange house. At her new home, the aristocrat club lived by the rule of Rose, but the girl found herself very much alone. Maybe that's what it said? What is that? We will now begin the funeral. What? All those attending, please gather around at this time. Who died? Come on, Jennifer. The funeral is about to begin. Wow. Well, that is... It's a funeral for your dear friend. <laughs> what? We don't have any dear friends. Before she realized it, the boy was gone. And the girl was left in confusion. Doggy? The boy was nowhere to be found. Roses everywhere! That's so pretty and... Just creepy. Alright guys, it seems like an excellent place to leave it. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, leave your comment below. No spoilers whatsoever, otherwise thou shalt be banned. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Hi guys, welcome back. We're playing Rule of Rose. So I had to backtrack a bit because, like an idiot, I, uh, I accidentally saved over the game that I was trying to load. <laughs> Who's done that? Who's done that? Thumbs up down below if you have you've had starting a game and instead of loading you you uh you save and then you just got rid of your save point so done that plenty of time probably will continue to do it plenty of times anyways he wants us to read the story i think we're a little bit beyond this but we're gonna i'm just gonna keep it here just for my ease because that's all that matters all right blah blah, blah. oh wait the aristocrat club lived by the rule of Rose, but the girl found herself very much alone. Okay, this is where we left off. We will now begin the funeral. I read it. Yes, thank you. Thank you. All those attending, please gather around at this time. So, what I'm going to be looking for in this game are... The Hmm. Come on, Jennifer. The funeral is about to begin. It is for a dear, dear friend, right? It's a funeral for your dear friend. <laughs> uh, 
The only two things that I can think of that would that they would call her dear friend before she realized it, the boy was gone. And the girl was left in confusion. <clears throat> the only things that we need is like she's interacted with the dog. The boy's nowhere to be found. She's interacted with the dog, so it might be for the dog. But in the book, she says that she's she has a little friend that's like a doll or something, and her name is the Princess of Roses or the Princess of the Rose or something like that. So, whoops, let me turn my lights off. Necessary, absolutely necessary. Ugh, hold on, unplugging it. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, let's make this. All right, let's continue. We need to go outside and gather around. How do I change my camera? Uh, camera? Camera? Ooh, is there something behind here? There's curtains. So what I'm going to be looking for at this game are what kinds of influences um, the children had uh, that caused them to develop such disturbing and macabre um, interests. Because that's definitely what their interests tend to be, is very, very macabre. And ashes to ashes and dust to dust. The dog, dog barking. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Um, I don't rem. It's it's shameful that I can't remember exactly where that's from. Uh, uh, Shakespeare, I think maybe. But anyways, it's it's, it's like. That's like an adult thing to know. Take it. Take this. It's glowing. Maybe we can't take it until later. It occurred to me that those might actually just be gloves. I sure hope they're gloves, but uh, I guess it would be pretty interesting if they were actual hands. But anyways, ash to ash and dust to dust is like, how would they know that phrase? I don't think I don't think most of them are old enough to uh, to be able to read the book that it came from. Just from kind of like I, I have the, I have it on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember it. Ash to ash, dust to dust. I think it's probably Shakespeare or something like that. The dog, huh? Oops. How do I get outside? I'm unfamiliar in these places. Also, one thing that I usually do at the very beginning of uh, most of my games is I do kind of like an analysis of what our main character looks like. So I'm going to say that we're, we're in England because she kind of looks like she's wearing like an, uh, a British or English style um, like like a boarding school uniform or something, and with the long, she looks like a schoolgirl, you know, with the um, with the tall socks, and her hair is back in a bun. It's very modest. She's got, you know, and it just she looks very like she's wearing a uniform or something from a boarding <laughs> boarding school. And since she came here in it, I'm gonna assume that it's not. Uh, well, shoot. How do I get out of here now? Oh, outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is where we want to go. Inner court. When the girl went out to the yard, she found a shovel standing before a grave. Okay, we were out here. I didn't show it for you, but I actually looked around really thoroughly. Um, I just cut it because it ended up being really, really long. Um, the video was still really long, and I just cut out parts where I I would look at things and found nothing. This was not here before. Let's take the let's take the shovel. Oh, the unlucky girl, son of a! I hate that. As if possessed, she began to dig furiously. I missed the first. Ugh. Well, luckily you guys can pause and see what it said. As if possessed, she began to dig furiously. She is maybe afraid of who or what is buried there because somebody said that it was a dear friend. I'm not sure if she can actually hear the narrator or what, but maybe maybe she wasn't able to hear the part that it said it was a dear friend. The, the, the one who said that is like the narrator. Is it a doll? Water? Water. They're gonna dump water on her. I thought that was weird because one of the intros, it looked like somebody dumped water on her. It didn't look like rainfall at all. Is the dog buried alive? That dog was far bigger than that bag, so it's not the dog. Oh no! Oh my god, this is so fucking creepy! One's a pig, one's a...
cat, one's a, a chicken. Just look at you. Fish. It's a fish. You're filthy. <laughs> <gasps> no. They're going to pour water on me. Don't be mean. I'm older than you. I could beat you up. What? That's what we saw. That is what we saw. And I knew that it didn't look like rain. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on our flight. What? Attention all passengers. What? We will be taking off in a short while. Please take all large luggage to section 8 of the freight storage compartment. Are we going to have a flashback or something? The hell? What is that? I'm pretty speechless. Oh, they're carrying her. These are pretty strong kids. There's something supernatural about these kids, I think, because they seem to be... They seem to be more intelligent than really they should be at that age. Would you like to save? Yes, I think I shall. Did I die? No. <laughs> uh... April 1930, the unlucky Cloverfield. There's something in that bag, and I don't think it's the dog from before, because that dog was much larger than the bag. I think there may possibly be something supernatural. She's tied up to the pole just like the doll was. I... At first, I was really tempted to, uh, oh, oh, so I was going to say, I think maybe the cinematics and the cutscenes we saw in the intro were foreshadowing for what we're going to see throughout the game, probably. <sighs> okay, well, I'm stuck. Oh. I can wiggle. Um... At, at, the, at first, I was I was tempted to be a little bit cynical of like, oh, this girl, she looks like she's 15. She looks like she might be even twice the age of some of the girls that are um, oppressing her or whatever you want to call it, tormenting her. So why can't she do anything? But I have to remember these are children, and she's, she's still a child, even if she is like a younger teenager. And, well... Children act very different in their social environments than adults do. Um, you know, they may not be thinking that fighting back is an option. They just may be intimidated. You have things like peer pressure and acceptance that are playing factors in their decisions. When the girl awoke, she found herself in a strange room. Well, I, all I can do is wiggle. That's all I can do. It was a cold, lonely, stinking room. <sighs> what is that? <sighs> this is so surreal. Good morning, Jennifer. How do you feel? Let's have a little chat, shall we? No! Uh, uh... I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the theory because if Jennifer was the kind of person to resist, she would have resisted already. So she seems like a very um, like follows the rules, seeks others' approval, doesn't want to do anything bad type of kind of girl. Hmm. So yes, we'll comply. Good girl. We'll comply. Jennifer, you know you've been a bad, bad girl. I haven't. And bad girls need to be punished, don't they? No. <sighs> A bad, bad girl who's not sorry, hmm? I haven't done anything! Anyway, I'll be the one giving the orders around here, okay? Uh, that's a different voice than we heard. Uh, let's just comply for now because we're basically at the mercy of whoever this is. Hmm. Clever girl. 
That's a different voice than what we heard. That sounded like a stewardess. Now, I'm going to give you your first order. <gasps> Every month you need to find a gift and bring it to the aristocrat club. If you don't, I'll kill you. Is there anything about this that you don't understand? Uh... Yes, what kind of gift? Yes? Shit. Hmm. Oh well, it doesn't really matter what you say. You see, Jennifer, there are really only two kinds of people in the world. Those who take orders, and those who give them. And from now on, I'll be giving the orders. Not fair? Well, dear Jennifer, nothing's fair here. <laughs> You will follow my orders or else. <laughs> For I am the prince and the prince rules. <laughs> so this is a boy, okay. This is your life, but you'll play by my rules. <laughs> Let the games begin, dear Jennifer. How do they know her name? Is that the boy? That's the boy. That's... Those are scissors! Oh shit! This is gonna hurt. Ah! Da, 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 da. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's gonna hurt! It's gonna hurt! Oh, phew. Oh Jesus, I thought it was gonna like. And so, the rope was cut. Snip, snip. And the girl joined the aristocrat club. Congratulations! Congratulations! Wow. Let's take these scissors so we can stab that boy with them. How can I... I want to take this. Do I have to push something different to, like, take stuff? Come on. Can I jump? Mm. Nothing happened. Okay, so... I think that boy was the boy that was on save point, right? No. The blackboard is badly smudged and unreadable. That's a blackboard? As the girl examined the headless scarecrow, it pleaded. Lass, please help me find my head. Once I am whole again, I will return the favor. By giving me a head? I already have a head. <laughs> That's weird. This is so weird. But I love it. I love it, love it, love it. As the girl looked at the rubbish bin, it spoke to her. My belly is as dark as night and as deep as the abyss. Anything in the world that is dropped will be collected inside it. Okay. About stocking items. Any item you collect can be stored in this rubbish bin. What? What? Huh? But we have an inventory. If you can't find a bin, just select an item from the menu screen. Select drop and the item will be stored here. There's no need to worry about losing it. Uh... But then we can't use it... I... Huh? Food? Key. Dog. Ah! Huh. Huh? Huh? Uh, find targets. Oh, yeah, sure. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Not at all, not at all. Okay, we're gonna leave now. I'll figure it out later. Here's a head! Here's a head for you, mister! When the girl examined the bucket, it pleaded. Lass, please help me back top my body. Lass. Hmm. Back on top of the headless scarecrow behind you. Oh! Sorry, didn't voice it. Well, if you do, I'll help you in return. Okay. Why are inanimate objects talking to me? I'm not sure I approve of this. There we go, it's a save point now. As the girl placed the bucket in its proper place, it spoke. 
I am the Bucket Knight, Keeper of Promises. Yet time can be so cruel, for I have aged and cannot remember the past. You know what I refer to, and I know that you know. However, you do not know at the moment, nor can you remember. Let us recall our memories together in order to remember our promise. This is so weird. About saving, you can save your process by talking to the Bucket Knights located throughout the game. How very nice. Story hints. When you aren't sure how to proceed, talk to the Bucket Knight and select Ask for Clues in order to receive a hint about what to do next. Wonderful. Well, I just want to see what kind of clues he gives me, really. If memory serves me correctly, the order you've been given is the reason you are here. It may be unpleasant, yet you have no choice but to follow it. A tribute to the aristocrat club. That's your only clue. Ha! So they have this society called the aristocrat club. Foul-smelling laundry baskets sit on the shelf. Dirty clothes are stuffed inside them. Uh, there we are. The scissors are just out of her reach. How do I take the rope? Take the rope! It's so handy! It's so handy to have rope! Can I take the lantern? Take the lantern. Lantern is so handy! Take the lantern! Bucket Knight. Is that a different... No, it's the same Bucket Knight. What am I saying? Uh, well, whatever was in the bag is probably what they intend us to give them as tribute. But let's try to get out of here first. Screw them. Oh, we can go out. What was with that announcement? That was a very strange announcement. It sounded like an adult, and in what they said sounded like an adult, too. It didn't sound like little kids. You are invited to the Aristocrat Club. Red Crayon Aristocrats. What is that? Where are we? Cargo Bay? What kind of a place is this? This isn't part of the orphanage, is it? What is this? A gift. A gift for the aristocrat club. Well... You know what I'm thinking? What is that sound? That's one of the things I'm thinking. The ah! The moth! Take the moth! Moth! Help me! Moth friend! What is that sound? What's this? The thing I'm thinking is, uh... Th what would happen to, like, these rules in these games as the children get older? Um... Cause, I mean, kids grow up pretty fast, so... I don't know. I have, some, I have to do something with that moth. I'm sure of it. I'm certain of it. The Red Crayon Royalty. What? Oh my goodness. The Red Rose Princess, which I thought was our friend. And the Bear Prince. Duchess, Countess, Baroness. Bourgeoisie. How do those children... How the... F How did they know what a bourgeoisie is. Duchess, Countess, Baroness, bourgeoisie, poor, beggar. I guess that's the hierarchy. The rule of gifts. Saw. Oh, okay. Find a gift of the month. All members must participate. Tediness, tediness, T tardiness, stealing, and cheat are prohibited. Tardiness, stealing, and cheating are prohibited. Junk? Junks? Junk, toys, and more. No refunds, only exchange. Huh. What? I stopped. Where are we? Holy hell! Looking through the window, the unlucky girl saw that she was above the clouds. What? 
The airship slowly swam through the sky, carrying the helpless girl inside. Is this like their imagination? Kinda? But only, like, real? Like... Wah! 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 <laughs> I'm so confused! In their game, their game becomes real. Social rank, refined class, Duchess Diana. Countess Eleanor. Baroness Meg. Lower class. Poor Amanda. Beggar. Jennifer. <laughs> wow. The girl has found a strange door, but where does it lead? Oh, there's a rose. There's a rose on the door. I'm going to take a look at my book. I didn't bring the book, did I? Storybook diary. Whoops. Oh, nope. That's what I meant to do. I'm sure it's going to keep its progress. Looking back at this, I think it actually may be a blimp. until she discovered a wonderful new friend. The girl and her companion obeyed the rule of Rose. Aww. Cool, so we need to find the friend. We need to find our dog friend. Let's go in through the door. What do you guys want? Check the box, read the poster, open the door, make an offering. Let's read, read the poster. This month's gift, one per person. This month's gift, a beautiful butterfly, one per person. Okay, so check the box. I just want to look. Things can be placed inside it. Uh, let's try to open the door and see what happens. Let's see what happens. So that's where we need to make our offering. Okay, fine. As the unlucky girl stood helpless, the door spoke. Give me a beautiful butterfly, one per person. Is that clear? No gift, no entry. Is that clear? Give me a butterfly. Give me a butterfly. Find one, and you shall be invited to join the aristocrat club. Aristocrat club. Well, very well. 